Alaska Airlines has just unveiled that it's investing in the game-changing startup Jet Zero. Jet Zero is designing a blended wing body aircraft that's set to cut emissions by around half. So basically, it'll take way less fuel to fly similarly weighted aircraft of today. It's due to that fantastic fuel efficiency that the US Air Force has a very keen interest in Jet Zero, in the hopes that it can get an aircraft in the form of a tanker that could carry a crazy amount of fuel. But now Alaska has publicly shown its interest as well, announcing that it has invested in the startup. While the amount it has invested hasn't been disclosed, it has been learned that Alaska Air has invested in the startup in a previous funding round in 2023 that it didn't publicly disclose. That means Alaska Airlines is very invested, no pun intended, in the startup succeeding. So it's also no surprise then to learn that along with the most recent round of funding, Alaska Air secured options to purchase the future Jet Zero planes. So in all likelihood, Alaska Airlines could very well be the first airline in the world to be flying blended wing body airliners. Jet Zero is saying that they hope to have their unnamed blended wing body plane flying and certified by 2030. They also claim to have a scaled down prototype nearly ready to begin test flying. But Jet Zero isn't the only manufacturer trying to make a blended wing body aircraft. Over in the private market, Bombardier is developing a similar concept, albeit of course smaller. They call their potential plane the EcoJet, and they actually have already conducted multiple rounds of testing, and are looking like they could be the first to bring blended wing body design to the private jet sector. This sudden flux of innovative fuselage design is due to the ever-growing desire, especially these days, to make planes more fuel efficient. Since the 1960s, aircraft manufacturers had pretty much cracked the code with the widespread implementation of jet engines on aircraft allowing planes to fly farther, higher, and faster than they could with propellers. After that, fuel efficiency was improved by optimizing the designs of those engines and the front fan's size, along with other engine optimizations. Then fuel efficiency improved as manufacturers placed their focus on implementing materials that were lighter in weight than previous materials. And now in the modern era, we've pretty much reached peak efficiency with the dominant airliner design of today, where a fuselage is skewered by a wing. So now we're looking at the fuel itself. Maybe there are ways to produce fuel than just extracting finite oil from the ground, hence sustainable aviation fuel. But even SAF emits into the atmosphere when burned. So even greater fuel efficiency is desired. And since we've done about as much we can with this standard fuselage design, you see bright minds going back to the drawing board completely, looking at not only electric and hydrogen concepts, but also that of the blended wing body concept. Even Airbus is mulling around with such an idea. So that's why we're suddenly seeing so much radical innovation these days. Which is why you should hit the subscribe and bell buttons right now to always be in the know of what's going on in modern aviation. And while Alaska Airlines considers buying these futuristic planes, have you heard Southwest Airlines is toying around with the idea of buying eVTOLs? Click on the video on the screen to learn about that confusing ordeal. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.